really glad to see that Joe's doing okay. Just a, an incredibly scary incident. Um, it was a gamble. We knew what the consequences could be. We, well, we didn't expect it to be as bad as it was then, and I just had no grip off the line. I got swamped by all the cars, and next thing I know, I got hit. I was in the side of Joe, and that was game over. So, yeah. I tried to follow uh, Niklas, um, and then I think yeah, George tried to open turn one, came t uh, to the left, and then basically uh, was right there in between the two cars. So when I saw it was getting closer, I tried to brake to get out of it, but he yeah, clipped the front right, touched uh, Zhu, and, uh, and it was, uh, I must say, a pretty scary incident. So. Unfortunately, Alex came spinning and, and hit the, you know, my front right wheel. Uh, managed to bring back the car, which was nice. I was good, we had good pace and um, of course Carlos made a mistake and went off the track so I got the lead. It's like a piece of carbon on the track in, in the kink of turn five. And at the time I realized it was there, I could not like drastically move left or right, so I tried to hit it head on. And normally then of course it just evaporates or explodes. But um, this time it got into the floor and it completely destroyed like the whole left hand side underneath. So from there I would say I was just you know, losing a lot of time, the car was really undrivable, so I tried to do the best I could. To push, I need to push, land all up. So this is not good enough, we are swapping the cars. I can't take it in the corners. The instruction is to give uh, 10 car lengths to chance and some breathing space. But guys, I'm at the first of from Hamilton. Please don't ask these things. Trust me, there's more to lose like that. I don't know, I think it's something that we always do as a team to leave the lead car out for track position and to box the second car and today uh, it didn't work in my favour. Al final ya, ya extrañaba a Hamilton en, en, en las peleas porque siempre son divertidas con él. Es súper agresivo pero siempre al límite, igual que Charles. Eh, entonces se disfrutaron en las peleas, ¿no? Lo dimos absolutamente todo. To be back in, be back in the fight is oh, I'm so grateful to be in the monks there. I was really hoping that was like something I was be able to fight for a win, but unfortunately just wasn't possible. I did my best. It was fun, the last part of the race was very, very tricky on the limit everywhere, but that's what I had to do to try and keep the positions, and I don't think I could have done much better there, so uh, 
I'll just analyze it for the team to understand if uh, there was anything better that we could have done. That's the first time this year we've had the pace that we've had and the consistency we've had. So, single lap, I think we still have some performance to gain, uh, particularly on the straights. But in the race, I was able to put in some really, you know, when they're telling me now as quick as each lap, I was thinking, wow, I'm, maybe I have a chance to fight for this thing. And I was so hopeful because I wanted to give, I wanted to give the UK uh, the win. But still, a podium is a great thing. Wow, 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 wow. Vamos. Good job. Yes. We did it. Yes. Bravo. Bravo, Carlos. Hoy a mí no me llega nunca nada fácil. Siempre tiene que ser situaciones complicadas. Eh, toda mi carrera ha sido así, ¿no? Pero estoy acostumbrado ya y que bueno, si hay algo que me ha enseñado la vida y mi carrera deportiva es que hay que seguir ahí, hay que estar ahí en todos los momentos, nunca hay que rendirse y hoy ha sido un buen ejemplo de ello.